Uh, the time now 610. Time to check your weather here with meteorologist Nate Larson in for Thomas this morning. And we're in for some good weather, at least to start the morning. Uh, yeah, it's been okay as far as temperatures have gone. We haven't cooled off quite uh, just yet, but we've got moisture on the way. So grab mm -hmm. an umbrella as you head out the door. You'll likely need it throughout the day today. Let's kind of walk you through some of what we're seeing across the state. Blanding right now. Yeah, starting to see some of first light. Beautiful conditions. We do have some of the clouds uh, making their way into the eastern part of the state, southeast corner as well. As far as moisture goes, mainly limited to northern Utah. You can see the overcast skies from University of Utah campus looking off towards the south. Temperatures we managed to, or we've managed to hang on to about 50 degrees, now 49 at Salt Lake City. So temperatures are falling some, just 42 in Logan. Good morning. Ogden, similar temperatures to Salt Lake, along with Provo. St. George is down about three degrees from our last check, sitting at 60 degrees. Still a nice, fairly mild start to the day. So as you're heading out, mention grabbing an umbrella out the door forecast, calling for a light jacket with some chances of moisture this morning. Best chance will be around noon, around midday. Temperatures should be hovering in the mid to low 30 or 50s, excuse me, 53 degrees with a jacket that's needed. Winds should be howling as our storm is pushing through. Temperatures even sliding around 5 o'clock with a slight chance of moisture. Might even see a thunderstorm roll through as we have instability rolling through this afternoon as our system pushes east. So temperature change in the last 24 hours. You can see the cooler air has made it into northwestern Utah, still in central and and eastern portions of the state dealing with a southerly flow, which is keeping temperatures more mild. In fact, 25 degree warmer temperatures this morning in Hanksville than we saw yesterday at this time. Green River's much more mild as well. Vernal 10 degrees warmer. St. George 10 degrees warmer this morning as well than yesterday. All of us cooling off though. You can see the front that's working its way through, generating some of the cloud cover and some of the showers, seeing some light precipitation overall across the northern part of the state. Most of the showers concentrated in the West Desert currently or over some of the mountain tops. We've had a few sprinkles across some of the valley locations. As the system generates more of a westerly flow, we'll see more showers, possibly a thunderstorm into the afternoon. We do have some warnings posted with the storm system. Our mountain areas expecting uh, some snowfall. Winter weather advisory in effect will show you which mountain ranges are affected. And this cool down that we're going to be experiencing will linger into the end of the week, which not only will help with limiting the snow melt that we're seeing, but it should back off then some of the flow that we're seeing into our streams and creeks. Uh, temperatures warming back up this weekend, not quite as toasty as we have been the last couple of days. So future cast trying to imitate what we're seeing on radar this morning. Some snow showers in our mountain areas with some areas seeing some light rain. Better chance. Again, you can see this dip in the overall wind pattern. The core of the trough or the uh, uh, bottom of the trough actually moving through, pushing another front through should generate a good chance of some showers. Uh, this is a right around lunchtime into the afternoon. It's throughout the afternoon. We have a slight chance of seeing a few thunderstorms. Mountains again seeing the most uh, numerous amounts of snowfall through about midday into the afternoon hours before quieting down into Wednesday. Another surge of moisture moving within northwest flow arrives Wednesday evening into Thursday and we could keep a chance of some showers lingering into Thursday afternoon before clearing out. So with the moisture again, thunderstorm outlook calling for a chance of thunderstorms across the Wasatch Front, the mountain areas, even into uh, northeastern portions of Utah. Winter weather advisories that are in effect, generally the northern mountain areas extending south into uh, the Provo Mountains as well. Uh, this is through 7 o'clock this evening, 6 to 12 inches from the National Weather Service. I think overall two to eight inches of snow for our mountain areas. Best chance of seeing up to a foot would be in the upper cottonwoods. Uh, otherwise benches, mainly rain showers, maybe up to an inch of uh, snow uh, by this evening in some areas like Cache Valley. Uh, but for the most part, we'll just see liquid precipitation anywhere from a tenth to two tenths of an inch of moisture across the Wasatch Front. Generally just a few hundredths of an inch of moisture across our central uh, valley locations. So 50s across northern Utah today, 60s and 70s across the southern part as well. St. George drops to 67 on Wednesday, mostly sunny skies, breezy winds, mainly sunshine Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Temperatures warming back up to the mid 70s. We'll see 80s Sunday, Monday next week. Breezy winds again on Monday, but really gorgeous weather over southern Utah into next week. Northern Utah looking at a chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm. 50 degrees by uh, Wednesday should be a pretty nice day overall tomorrow. Showers late Wednesday into Thursday might see a bit of a wintry mix early. Temperatures just 49 for the high Thursday, 54 Friday, partly cloudy skies warming back up to upper 60s on Sunday. Might see a little bit of moisture Monday next week as well.